On August 20th, we set out on the 20 month long One Ocean expedition. One, two, three. One, two, three. The ship is manned by a small crew, fellow sailors of all ages, scientists, and students. The ship is equipped as a research vessel and will collect data throughout the journey. It will serve as a floating university, bringing students, scientists, and professionals together. The goal is to create attention and share knowledge about the ocean for a sustainable future. So I've been sailing um, ever since the early 70s on sailing ships, uh, cross-Atlantic voyages and uh, voyages over big areas of the world. And during this time, uh, I've seen big changes in relation to especially uh, the garbage that we see floating on the surface the wind patterns that are changing. We also notice that sea life is a lot less. The last 20 years especially, catching fish is, is very difficult. On this voyage uh, of more than 30 days, we've only caught three fish so far. So we see a lot of garbage um, on a daily basis and we, we actually log whatever we see now these days. Det bara har gått en dag med vakte och det är er en sida fyllt upp i boka med söppel på ned i havet. Det är er plast, plastposa. Det är er nog mest av det som har blivit loggfört. Jag blev lite chockad egentligen. det är er mitt ut på havet och så lika väl så är er det plast som vi ser hela tiden. Det är er trist. So seeing all of this, the garbage around us, the, the wind pattern change and temperature changes and um, the diminishing fish and, and sea life resources, we're definitely worried because this uh, cannot continue the way it's going. Here! 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 You heard our captain. He's worried. This is urgent. We need good solutions for the oceans and our climate. And we need the world's top leaders to stand together for a sustainable future. <laughs> <laughs>